McGrath with a bit of distance, a spiral on that one. So oh, good Ooh. mark by Scholl. Terrific mark, eyes only for the ball. That's what we know Scholl can do. He just really commits his body and mind to the contest, and that was a terrific mark at ground level. Spinks, but he's a long way from goal. 65 metres out. He gets around Silvani. The pass to Stoneham. Didn't reach him. Stephen King with a leg injury, but Hall managed his third goal, leaving the Cats one point down at quarter time. He's kicked three goals in the first quarter. Three straight goals early in the second term put them back in control, but Brett Spinks was reported after colliding with Jason Tawney. Oh, wow! Moments later, the book came out again. Trailing by 15 points at the main change, Richmond clawed its way back when Holland put through his third. Nice and clean, and a goal. The frustration showing as the scores drew level before Stoneham's move up forward paid off. Stoneham gets the goal for the Cats. Miranda kicked his fourth, but it wasn't enough to keep the Tigers in touch. And when Burns found range, the Cats were home, winning by 19 points. Burns 45 metres out, this could be the finisher! Corey Wingard, National 9 New. Expect a contest in the square. Miranda, right to the teeth of goal, no contest. Ottens. Gee, he has been impressive, very athletic. Brad Ottens from about 10 metres out. Gets the goal. Kilpatrick has one bounce, running to centre half forward, goes across the ground and spinks. Emerging with it, Mench, like his game, he's been a workhorse, he pulls it back towards full forward, offhand, Spence stayed on his feet, can't get it around, couldn't work the angle. Well done by the defender, Tawny. So if those gloves were working, it would be one point, which it is. Graham, straight to Ottens, terrible kick, Knights is loose, so is Daffy if he spots them. No, he didn't. He took too long, he goes looking for Richardson, and Richardson takes the mark. Got two goals, one on each half. Short Spinks right on the 50. I've said it before, I know, but he is a very Say good kick. He's a thumping kick, Spinks. <laughs> Man on the mark, right on the 50. Spinks launches this one, hasn't got the carry. Thank goodness. He's got two. <laughs> the handball off when the bloke's in the right position. Lord, onto the left boot, oh. pops it through. Woods pumps it down towards Dunster once oh. more and he's got it. Oh, that's his fourth mark. How good is this bloke? 50? Oh, close. He's kicked 18 goals for the season. From right on 50, Dunstall. Oh, this freak. is a great kick right on the line. He's dobbed it. Picked up in there by Riccardi. Goes to Burns, feeds it wider, taken by Barnes to the pocket, and speaks oh, well worked. It's a question of accuracy right here. Dunstall's got two at one end. Spinks going for his second at the other. Hasn't seen as much of the ball as the Hawthorne champ. I think he's got it. A little left to right on it. It's a goal. Just making his way in the game to centre half forward. Certainly they are kicking yes. the ball. There's a big grab by Spinks. And Gary E said they'd go along this week, and that's what they're doing. They're being more direct. Brett Spinks will be kicking from 55 metres. He's already kicked two goals. Back from suspension. Dennis, you're right. The distance is on its way. That's a big bomb. <laughs> oh, great kick. <laughs> Three goals to Brett Spinks. I think he just punctured that ball in with Big Sharon. He also lifted his ratings yeah. today, and there's Spinks in front. A slips catch. Spinks will shoot from around about 45 metres, is on a 45 degrees angle. He's already booted three goals in the first quarter. It's starting to bend back, it's bending back, he's got it! Four goals to Spinks. And Spinks. just over a minute to half time. And he's got it again, those big hands. it has been a change, he's been moved to Sinar forward KB and Barry Stone is a full forward against Robert. Now, so he's been spoken to. He's such a quiet person off the field, apparently, KB, and he gets a bit grumpy when he's on the field. White line fever. So Barry Stone is the target. Looked like he caught one over the shoulder. Ronnie Burns runs into the open goal. Oh, yes. Banks it through. Two goals to Ronnie Burns. 
He's got it. He's a beautiful kick, so the distance should not worry him. It's just a matter of accuracy. Spinks from just inside 50. He has split the centre. Let's move to the final term at Cadinia Park. And we're four minutes into the quarter. Close quarters lays it off to Hargraves. Hargraves kicks inside the 50. Bounces in front of Burns. Burns magnificently. This deserves a goal. And he's got it. What a classic. <laughs> and there you go. Not as good as Scholes, but not bad. Not bad at all. This is Crawford. Lively again. Probing kick inside the 50. Dunstall for mine. Oh. Well. Uncharacteristically oh, dropped that he's going to be paid the mark. Well, he's very, very lucky. Certainly not a mark. That it's could be a big kick. call. That could be a big call, that mark. Dunstall kicks the goal. Listen to the booing. Perhaps not quite the talent. Well done, though. Combining out there, half had got it to Taylor. Great. Chick goes for goal, and he's kicked it. How about that? It's tough to beat across half-back. Angelo Lickers, one of the most improved players in the game. Mansfield pumps the ball back. One for the high flyer. Spinks comes out. Oh, he's got a great it. mark. Well, he's been so big and strong all day. It's not a surprise to see him come charging out directly in front. 40 metres out. He's got it through. Contest was there, spills out wide. Kilpatrick could have taken it, decides to slap it on out of the part of the Forward football, that's good. To Burns and Bonds and Spinks. He's taken it. What did I say about a full forward not coming out and taking the mark? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that what Geelong did then was played forward football. I just kept hitting the ball forward. Kilpatrick didn't try to pick the ball up. He just knocked it forward. Sanderson was the one to get on the end of the loose ball. And uh, Spinks drops short. Most of the kicks are going to drop short. And Spinks come out in front to mark it. So he's already had one shot at goal. Brett Spinks just the behind. It's the result. 26 games, so not a great degree of experience. 21 of those were over with West Coast over a four-year period. Here's his shot. He's honed in now. He's got his first. Give. Good tackle. That's allowed to go, and McGovern. Oh, that was a bounce off the on the ground. Yep. Hit the point post. He got it. lucky there, McGovern. Yeah, he, he went to kick it off the ground, hit the point post, so out of bounds on the full. You uh, can't get much more unlucky than that, I wouldn't <laughs> think. So, Ronnie Burns, you would suggest he will step out onto the right, curl it around. He's gone for the left foot, Banana. Got it pretty well. Oh. Well, oh, if you it? want some class, there it is. Good on you, Ronnie. Back to Kilpatrick. Burns and Bond. Still Burns. Breaks the tackle. Onto the left. Kicks it from goals. That should do it. And the Cats are home, but maybe at a price. Corrigan knocked out by the Dockers. Dare we say it. Who now gets a kick away. He dropped the nilly. Yep. He was taken out. Oh God. Been in the news, haven't they? Corrigan and Let's the Wolfies. Look at it again from Carroll. Well, Let's hope uh, the young cat is going to be okay. In. But uh, Geelong, in the end, convincing winners. The casualties weren't confined to players, though. Hockey continued to dominate as the Cats maintained control. Spinks also proving a winner up forward. Oh, that's glorious. Lovely kick. That's a goal. Both sides kept finding options in front of goal in the third term. Geelong booting three, North reducing the deficit on the scoreboard by kicking four. Borks his man, shoots from 40 metres and kicks a team lifter. But the last quarter belonged to the Cats. Hocking completing his comeback game in style. When he wasn't kicking goals, the Cats midfielder was setting them up with perfect delivery. Spinks. Well, he had the climb there, the big fella. On top all over the ground, the Geelong oh! victorious by 23 points, 23 Spinks finishing with a five-goal haul. Corey Wingard, National 9 News. One a moment ago with Pickering, and one earlier in the first half. And then Longmire was able to get hold of it. Burns again pops it up to about 50. Bizzle a target. Pushing forward was Arnott. Scholl did very well to Mooney, who goes in and kicks the goal. A second one. Great good. 
Bradshaw, very good. It's what this second half and this match needed. That certainly was an important kick. He's only had uh, three kicks for the night, Jason Mooney. But if you can turn him into goals, you don't need to have that many. A lot of hard, uh, hard working Geelong players down there force the ball forward. A very important goal to get Geelong back into this contest. Well, not big uh, stats by any means from Jason Mooney. A couple of heavy bumps, three kicks, but an important goal. The big mark, Tim McGrath, gee, he's travelled some territory, hasn't he? To get down in the middle of that action. And you see there, he races off to the right of screen to man up on Wayne Carey. And it's just about 30 out of the 36 players, Robbo, in this attacking 50 here for Geelong. Yes, a bit of urgency. Geelong will get another one. Johnny Barnes has got it. Mansfield and Martin, Mickey keeps his eye on it. Ball comes to ground. Pickett has been wonderful. What's going to happen in the final term? The first of the Friday night matches in 1999. Ronnie Burns is warming up on the boundary line. I can see Dipper down there. We'll get you in a minute, Dipper. We're about to start the final term here at the MCG. Out of the centre. It was Pickering that pushed it forward to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick straightens up, goes to full forward. Remember Graham's forward. Good mark. Unopposed in the end. Taken by Mooney. He's actually got stronger as this match has gone on. He was just starting to show some good form towards the end of the third quarter, and if he can come into the game, Geelong are a real chance here. He just got a free run at the ball. Leapt up in front of the pack, uh, Ben Graham jostling with Mick Martin. They all became uh, Graham conscious, I think, there. I think they did too. So Mooney, 15 metres out, directly in front. He's got his second, the all-important first. McGrath down the ground, into the middle. Mark is taken there by Snell again. Kilpatrick, fourth possession in about two minutes. Kicks towards the goals and a good mark. That's a terrific mark by Gary Hocking. He is a champion player, no doubt whatsoever. Certainly starting to amass possessions, uh, Robbo. And I mean, most players in that instance would probably try to take the ball on their chest. He knew he was under the pump with the opponent behind him and he's taken it one grab cleanly out in front of him. And uh, knowing the, the way he disposes of the ball, he'd be uh, London to a brick on, uh, on to kick this, wouldn't it? Well, we've sat here a few times, Jason, and said just that, haven't we, Bruce? Well, we put the mocker on. Well, we finished up with a couple of fried <laughs> eggs all over our face. So we'll just wait and see. I'll it's still very, back him in. It's a very important kick because uh, 23 points now becomes 17. McCartney, Mitch went early, did well to McGrath. McGrath's left foot is close. It's a goal! It's a goal! Blowing! Gee, that's a good kick. Round the body, good. Burns is back on the ground. Let's see how free he is. Does well. Sidesteps. An important play. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. A contest. Taken by Graham. Left footer. Bouncing towards goal. Getting in Banford. Taken by Scott. Well done. Shows in trouble, gone, holding the body, free kick cuts, Mooney's gone. That's the risk isn't it Bruce, when they try to run the ball out the back line as, as the kangaroos often do, and then the tackle is laid, they're gone. That's just a purely and simply a case of taking the wrong option, he had a chance to get a quick boot the ball, kick it long to the boundary line, he decided to tuck it under the arm and uh, well, that's the pun and that's the penalty Robbo. In a tight game, I think Greg Shaw lost the block there for a fleeting second. Mooney going for his third. It's close. He's got it. The cat's within a kick. The heart of the centre square. 18-8 to 19-7. Goes laterally to Buddha. The captain. Hocking. Delivers to centre half forward and Mench couldn't quite. Mench has a second go. His second effort's have been good. Pike was smothered. Smell. Little give. Kilpatrick can put him in front. Leans back and puts him in front. Can you believe it? And the football may have come from Milburn again, was it back there? Gary Hockey with the footy. Goes short. Knocked on by Milburn. Not bad, actually. Gets it back from uh, Bamford. And then Mansfield. He's got it. I think it was mentioned that he's had a fairly quiet night. 
but what can Mansfield do here? He's only had four kicks, and he's certainly within scoring distance. Well, he's experienced. He's a very experienced player, Michael Mansfield. It's a fantastic team. Milburn's been sensational tonight. He's been a real fine. Mansfield, he realised he had the mark. He's in kicking distance. He'll take his time. And the best thing he can do now, this will, listen to the crowd if he kicks this, Robbo. Well, he has been a goal kicker over his years with Geelong. It's there. It's a goal. What a stirring performance. Got it to Bell. Crashes it forward. Durko. Here's trouble. Oh. Durko. Brilliantly done. Kicks to full four. Well done at the back by Sanderson. Stoneham gets a hand on it. Abraham clever. He can normally go from this situation. Hooks it back. Oh. Great kick. He's done. Winning stunner. <laughs> that is an extraordinary piece of play by Abraham. McCarty to Sanderson. To Pickering gets a second go. Little pop shot to set a half forward. Back to Pickering. Pickering's quick kick to fall forward. Martin front spot. Mooney at the back. A ball to be won here. It's hot. Arnott throws it out. Maxwell's handball to Birds. Left foot. Goal. Magnificent stuff. They love it everywhere. That's why we are excited, Robbo. Chance for the kangaroo. Stevens kick smothered off the boot. Bamford to kick it forward. To within scoring distance. Who are the high flyers? Mooney tries to kick it out of the air. Burns and Pickett. Burns can oh! oh! The goal has been kicked by Arnott miraculously. Now tell me you're not excited now. Oh, oh dear me. But Burns keeping it alive from the pocket was reminiscent of Wayne Harms many years ago. And Arnott on the end of it. This it's is an amazing incredible stuff. piece of skill, Rubbo. He's just hooked the ball back in. And have a look at Arnott coming in like Diego Maradona, just side-footed it in beautifully. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? This game's had everything. What, what more can it hold? Well, I said we were going to the toy shop for the second night in a row. I reckon we've picked a pretty good department <laughs> store tonight, don't you? Oh. Simpson left it behind. Durkay gets it back to Blakey. Blakey goes for the goal square. Big punch. Gee, didn't Geelong get back? Bell! Left foot step by Peter Bell. I think he's got it. It's a goal with the Kangaroos. Lomo gets it on to Durko. This is the big moment to set a half for oh. Lee McKernan. Play on call. Ball comes out. Scott tries to get through. Little kick backwards. Mark to the cat. Bizzle's got it. Play on call. A bounce down. Seconds remaining. It has been a remarkable game. It has been a famous victory. Geelong has come from nowhere and won. did at the last match of last year. The stakes not nearly as high tonight, but the emotion is flowing freely here.